Melena Scantlin here with another episode of You Asked For It. Keep watching for tips on preseason sports training. Whatever competitive sport you may play, baseball, basketball, or dodgeball for some of you, you may want to make sure you're in peak physical condition throughout the season, which means preseason is just as important. We had a great question from YouTube viewer All Things Glam, who wanted to know what sort of exercise should they be doing to prepare for sports tryouts, excluding the standard skill work. Well, we were lucky enough to speak with Kick TV's Jimmy Conrad about his off-season soccer training regime. Now, a few of the things that I did during the season to stay fit, things that you can do at home, probably five exercises that you should focus on. One is going to be upper body. Two is going to be your lower body. Three is going to be your core. Four is going to be some type of jumping. So that can be either both feet, uh, single foot, or in a split. And then the last one is going to be doing some interval running just to get your heart rate up. And all this stuff you can do at home. I'm going to run you through something I did uh, this past season. Really what you want to focus on when you're doing upper body is to have some full body component to it. So if you can maybe, let's say, for instance, stand on one leg and do some curls, uh, that is magic because you're working your arm and you're also working your core in terms of stability, in terms of balance. Now, that's just one example, but I like to do a lot of push-up stuff, stuff you can do without weights. And there's this one that I really like that I try to do all the time. It's doing a set of 10 push-ups and then you rest for 10 seconds and you do another 10. You do that 10 times. The next is doing some kind of leg exercise. I like to do some golf squats, which you, you could use some free weights for, but uh, I have a five-year-old daughter who weighs about 40 pounds. I throw her around every once in a while too. That works. I honestly put her over my shoulders once and did one-legged squats on the couch. Sounds pretty crazy, but that's how I roll. And then on the next one, I just did some planks uh, for my core stuff, which are real easy. Just make sure you have proper technique and just try to hold for as long as you can and maybe build up to something. Have a goal in mind. And then after I did a few of those, I went outside and I found uh, a block that I had where it had a little bit of an incline and I would just run that as fast as I could. So after I did about six or seven exercises, I'd go run around the block as fast as I could, and then I would grab my knees because I was tired, and then I'd wait five, six, seven, eight minutes, and then go through it again. And I would do that three times. It's about a 40, 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how long you want your, your things to go. But these are all things you can do at home, and uh, once you get better at it, uh, and, and you can see the results, then I expect uh, a lot of good things for you to happen. And you want to make sure you're shocking your body, you're going up and down, up and down, getting proper rest, but also when you decide to work, make sure you work. Thanks, Jimmy. Some great practical advice to help us all achieve that competitive edge. So let's break it down with my preseason training episode roundup. Make sure you're in great shape, guys, so you have more chance of making the cut. Now, to stay in shape, focus on five areas of exercise that you can do at home or anywhere for that matter. They are upper body, lower body, your core, some type of jumping, and interval running for endurance. Follow Jimmy's advice to reach your A game, then follow Jimmy on Kick TV by hitting the subscribe button below. And while you're at it, make sure to subscribe to Be Fit and send me those questions. I'm Elena Scantlin. I'll see you next week for another episode of You Asked For It.